All right, hey, I just wanted to uh, do a short video and show you something sort of new. Uh, let me start by saying that, you know, there's always something to be said about catching, you know, uh, big trout, redfish even, um, in really shallow water and using a float. Of course, I always use floats. I love floats. I love the fact that you, uh, you know, it's a big time visual thing, just like fishing a top water plug. But of course, you know, a, a float with a live shrimp or something is just a little more versatile than, you know, your just average top water plug. And, you know, there, you can float rig fish and you can fish deeper and things like that. But then, of course, I love, uh, pitching up into the shallows and popping a cork or clicking a cork as you've seen in some of my videos. This is the newest uh, float I guess I kind of come around, come around here is um, these here are called Comal Husky Rattle Pops and this is a big float. It's a popping cork it's got rattles in it. It's super loud. It's big. It's heavy. And um, it really probably will just fit the bill just perfect for taking a bait caster on a breezy day. And you want to sail a shrimp up into really shallow, and, you know, some shallow water, two, three feet of water. And you want to create a lot of noise and get that trout's attention. So I just wanted to show you this. Uh, these are not super new, but you're just not seeing them in the tackle shops yet. And how it works is, let me grab some 20 here. There's some 20 pound mono. And you always want to use mono. You tie on a leader if you're using, you know, braided line. Um, you'll, you'll tie 20 to your braided and, and then use this. And you'll put it, you'll put this on mono versus braid. So how it works is, is you take it and you run it in this slot. Okay. And then you got to kind of hold it tight. Run it in the slot. And I don't know if you can see, but right in here, there's a groove and you can snap this in. So what you do is you do several loops around here and then you take your mono and snap it in now it's holding it and you would do the same thing to the bottom piece here too you'd wrap it around and then pop it in there and now there he is there it's set and of course being weighted this is weighted I read somewhere this is like an ounce and a half or an ounce. And then you would, of course, have your leader back here and you tie on just a hook about 20, 22, 24 inches below this and pitch your shrimp. So this gives you, this float gives you a big noise making capacity uh, in shallow water. It really has a lot of rattles in it. You can chug it versus a regular pop and cork. Um, this is just what they call the Husky Rattle and Pop by Comal Tackle. This is the package. Shows you that you can either use it uh, just like a regular slip float or you can do fixed depth with wrapping the line around the uh, top piece a couple times and popping it into the groove. It's just unique. Uh, you don't see popping corks this big and that big around and stuff very often. But as you may know, if you read some of my reports, that casting a light cork of some sort, you know, with your bait caster sometimes, this isn't going to work. That's the reason why I even bought myself a little spinning rod and spinning reel. I also like these. These are just lemon drop corks. And uh, they're weighted. And they got a rattle in them, but then of course I over I come over here and I put in another rattle. That's real loud. 
And this, of course, would be a lot more delicate presentation. You know, you'd pitch this out. I've used these several times. Pitch this out, and you would just kind of hop it along. It's not going to make no big splashes. It's just going to make a little tick, and your shrimp's going to be following and jumping around behind it. And then, of course, you've seen before, I make my own uh, clicker floats. And the neat thing I do, even with my clicker float, is inside here is a uh, is a rattle inside the float. They're a little longer, made out of a little stiffer wire than you would buy in the store, of course. And I kind of borrowed the idea from uh, a guide up in up in Georgia who makes them like this. And I attach, I actually put a weight right on the uh, the wire here. The minute this hits the water, it immediately stands up super nice. Holds that shrimp down just a little bit. And then you just uh, twitch it with your rod tip. And it gives the, the snap and the popping. And the trout come a-running. So there's a couple things. I just thought I'd show you these. Me and uh, my buddy Doc Miller... He, you know, has his bait casting gear. We're out float rig fishing. And many times, uh, you know, we'll get into a situation where, of course, I want to go shallow, noisemaker, all that kind of stuff, and continue to catch trout and reds. And he had just one of those, what do they call them, Cajun Thunders. Those things don't weigh anything. And it, they're very similar, of course, to this one. And you can't cast it, you know, on a breezy day or anything. You can hardly get it out behind a boat. I am really uh, excited about trying this one, the Como Husky uh, Rattle Pop. I can really take this thing and sail it away from the boat and get some good distance um, up in some shallow water. So that's just what I wanted to uh, show you. And I'm going to put the address on the video of where these are available because you certainly aren't seeing them in any tackle stores stores and or any tackle stores around Jacksonville Florida that's for sure so that's it thanks for watching